Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are playing in drugstore makeup. I felt like I was overdue for a drugstore video and I think I got enough goodies to do a full face. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm really excited about the products that I picked up. I can't recall if some of these are like brand new makeup products or, or what. Usually when I'm shopping for makeup, I go to what's new, like I sort by what's new on the website and I shop that way, but I can't recall. <laughs> this stuff might not be new, but it's new to me. So there you go. Let's go ahead and start with foundation. I'm really excited to use this foundation. This is the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. I got the shade 209. Is this a new foundation? I want to say this is new. I might be completely wrong. And if so, feel free to correct me down in the comments because I love when you guys do that. No, but I seriously do. I love when you kind of share and just spread the knowledge because I certainly don't know it all. Okay, I'm going to do one pump of this. Okay, I can already tell right off the bat this foundation is going to be way too light for me. But I did not purchase another color, so we're just going to make it work, you guys. So one pump distributed about this much product looks like a good amount to do my full face it has a nice lightweight consistency to it let's go in and start on my left side of my face oh yeah so light way too light and actually it's going to look even way lighter because i have a self tan look at my tan right now i had an event this past weekend and so i got a spray well it wasn't a spray tan but you know i got a sunless tan and i am really dark this is pretty very natural i would say Kind of a light coverage has a bit of a radiance to it blends into the skin really nicely and easily skin looks healthy and glowy i'm gonna have to load up the bronzer to make this work though so okay because this is on the lighter coverage and it's a lighter consistency i went through that full pump and even though i was able to get it all over the face i do want to go back and add a little more to see if i can build more coverage particularly around here on my nose you can see it's a little pink there i didn't get a whole lot of coverage there Oh, this is pretty though. It's very pretty. All right, let's go back in. I'm gonna grab a little bit more and we're going to just kind of press this into the center of the face. Get more coverage there. This is so light. <laughs> I really got it wrong here. It's so hard to order foundation shades online. I wish there was like a universal shade name across foundations and, and like companies because they all have their own spin on what's like beige or what's linen or what's ivory or what's golden tan. You know, they're all, they all have a different interpretation of that. So even though I might be whatever the name of this was, okay, this was called Buff Beige. And I know I ordered this because I know I'm Buff Beige in another brand, but this is definitely a different Buff Beige than whatever brand I was comparing this to. Okay, this is really pretty. It's very pretty. It's very luminous. Uh, the skin looks really healthy and glowy. So pretty. And even though I did about a full pump and a half, it doesn't look heavy at all. It looks really, really natural. Oh, let me give you a little description of the foundation too, because I just kind of described it how I was seeing it on my skin. It says makeup and skincare in one. Medium coverage, natural finish, reduces the appearance of wrinkles over time, deeply hydrates the skin. It definitely feels like a very hydrating foundation. I would say drier skin types will really love the feel of this foundation. Okay, let's go in with concealer. And I picked up the Flower Get Real Serum Concealer, Flower Beauty. I'm excited to try this. This also looks a little too light. What shade did I pick up? I picked up the shade Vanilla. It's described as having buildable coverage, hydrating, brightening, and smoothing. Right off the bat, I really do like the applicator. There's that nice little slant, which I appreciate for concealer products. Ooh, this texture is nice, you guys. This texture is very lightweight. This is a serum concealer, right? Yep, serum concealer. It has that serum type feel to it. All right, so let's go in and blend this out. I was way off on my shades. <laughs> this concealer also is too light for me, but you guys, we're gonna just have to make it work. Okay, I really love this concealer. Right off the bat, it is blending out beautifully. I really like the texture of it. Oh God, this is pretty. I'm gonna definitely order this in my correct shade. Okay, the coverage is pretty good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get a full coverage or if I was gonna get a lighter coverage because of the consistency, but I'm getting a pretty good coverage. I look like a ghost. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do here. Okay, that's really beautiful. This concealer is really beautiful. I do feel like it's softly like smoothed out underneath the eye area. You guys, I cannot get over how white I am right now, how pale I am. This foundation and concealer, we have gotta warm this up with some bronzer. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me, I'm just gonna take a clean brush and try and absorb some of this because it is pretty light. 
Usually I can correct when I go too light with my complexion products, but I don't know if I can with this. Okay, maybe when I have all of my makeup on, it'll look a little better. Let's go ahead and go in and warm up the skin. I'm pretty certain this is drugstore pricing. I have actually not tried anything from this brand, Soul Body. I want to say I got this maybe because it was a dupe. Let me look this up real quick. Let's see what this price point is. Guys, this is ColourPop. Okay, this is from ColourPop. Okay, we're gonna go with this bronzer. This bronzer's $12, so this does qualify for a drugstore pricing. And I wanna say I picked this up because this was described as being a dupe for the Chanel bronzer, I think, if I recall. I am I'm a little nervous. This looks pretty orange to me. What shade did I get? I got the shade Medium. Let me see. Okay, this is really orange. I'm gonna look, I am i don't know how great my makeup is gonna look today, you guys, but hopefully at least I can give you some feedback on the texture of these products. So far, even though my face is way too light, I am, I do think that the foundation and the concealer are really beautiful. Let's go in with this bronzer. I already know that it's gonna be pretty orange, especially against what I have going on here, but you know what, let's just go for it. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 104 brush. I typically don't use this for cream bronzer, but because this is so orange, I don't wanna apply a whole lot of product. And if I went in with something more dense like the 111 bronzer brush, it'd pick up too much. So I want to have a lot of control over how much I apply and this doesn't isn't gonna apply a whole lot of product. So let's just bounce it in here. And we're just gonna kinda sweep it onto the cheeks. That's nice. Okay, so even though I'm using this brush, I am gonna use another brush so I can really give you great feedback on this because depending on the tool that you use, it's gonna totally change your application. So if you use a product with the wrong brush, you might feel like it's an issue with the product, but it might actually be the brush that you're pairing it with. So I do like the way this looks. It is taking me quite a bit of work to get it onto the skin, but I have a feeling it's because the brush that I'm using paired with this product. This is more of a sheer creamy bronzer. It's not like a thicker consistency. It's a very light consistency. So that paired with this brush, it's just gonna apply it in a much softer manner, which is what I want, remember, because the color is off. Let's take this brush and... Okay, this is really nice, you guys. This has a really pretty glow. It's very soft. Ooh, I do like this. I think I wanna get one lighter shade to see if I can get something that's not as uh, orange as this. Maybe they have a shade that's a little cooler. I'm just gonna kinda sweep this all over my face, honestly, to really just warm up my skin. Okay, that looks nice. Actually, this looks pretty good. With this brush, this works for me. This color works for me. I'm gonna bring it down here on my jawline and then sweep it kind of across my face. I let Kate do my makeup last night and it was so cute because she really like was super focused and like really wanting to do a good job on my makeup. And she took my blush and she said that she likes to do a little W across the cheeks and the nose, which I thought was so cute. And it actually looked really good. I was impressed. You know, when she was doing my makeup, I didn't look. She didn't want me to look. She wanted me to be surprised. And when I looked in the mirror, it looked like I like I would have left the house. It looked really good. And she's my eight-year-old. So I was thinking she was going to go with some fun, like, bright colors and maybe have a little fun with it and get a little crazy. But she did a really, really great job. She really focused and put her effort into it. Kind of like watching her do my makeup, you know, I could see her face and I could see how she was concentrating and then stepping away and looking and making sure the eyes were even. It just kind of took me back to my makeup artist days. I felt like that was my little mini me handling me. Okay, so we're gonna go in with brows and I don't have any drugstore brow products. I take that back actually, you guys. I do have something here. It's not new, but we're gonna use it. Although I got a bunch of stuff from Benefit. They sent me a bunch of brow products and I kind of want to play with it. So let's do that. I'm gonna use a new brow product. I'm going to use this brow micro filling pen. I have not tried this before. So let's give this a go. I have, this is the shade light brown that they sent up. And then I'm going to use this fluff up brow wax. We're going to see if we can get some fluffy looking brows. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is what the applicator looks like. It's actually got three little tips to it. I'm kind of nervous. You guys, let's see. This color's perfect. I usually don't use brow pens, but this one's really soft, like almost like a soft sheer a pigment. It's not really intense, even though it has three little, okay, maybe that's how I do it. Okay. So this is interesting. Let me show you. So at first I was kind of using it like a typical like liner pen and I was getting, let me show you. I was getting like, even though I had three little applicators, I was getting one, one stroke. But then what I would do is I would hold it and kind of flick it up. If you flick it up like that real light, then you actually get to see those three different applicators and you get kind of more of that hair like effect. So I'm going to switch to that technique. Yes. Okay. I think this is how it's intended to be used. So for the bulk of my brow, I'm going to do that 
when I get over here to the arch of my brow, I'm actually going to take it over and give that technique of more smoothness and more like a defined line. And then when I want to create hair like strokes, I'm just going to flick it up. That looks good. It's a little more effort than my typical Charlotte Tilbury, like brow waxy pencil but it looks good, it looks more natural. All right, let's go in with this Fluff Up Brow Wax and it doesn't look like there is a color to it. Yeah, it's just clear. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm actually just going to kind of fluff up my brows, kind of pull my natural hair up. Okay, what do you think? I like it. I still think I need to take a pencil to define the bottom a little bit more. And not that I couldn't do that with the pen, but I think the pen that I have I think I need a slightly darker shade. I almost need like the two shades to get the right blend. We're gonna use the Gimme Brow Volumizing Brow Pencil in warm light brown. And I'm just gonna use this to just kind of fill in the bottom and give a little more structure on the bottom. There we go, perfect. Okay, so that was a few steps to the brows, but it was good because I wanted to kind of play and try these different products. I really like that fluff up brow wax. If you like that look of just real fluffy, full brows, kind of like, kind of reminds me of like the 90s supermodel brows, that'll give that to you. Okay, I feel so light underneath the eyes here. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and go in with eye makeup. Okay, so for the eyes, I picked up a couple of these Wet n Wild uh, liquid eyeshadows. They're called the Shadow Silk. I'm gonna have all the shades and links to them in the description box below, but this is the shade of Lunar Beige, and this is the shade Bronze Digger. And I think I'm actually gonna go in with Bronze Digger. I also got this little uh, palette from Milani. I thought it had some really nice neutral everyday shades. And I thought it'd be a good size for travel. Let's go in with this one. Let me actually swatch these two for you. Ooh, <sighs> this is pretty. And the texture's really nice and the shimmer's really nice. It's not chunky glittery. Oh, it actually it feels kind of cooling. I don't know if that's marketed that way, but I feel like a little cooling sensation. So these are what the two shades look like. Really beautiful, very consistent pigment, very consistent shimmer, so beautiful. That's pretty. This shade Bronze Digger is gorgeous. Okay, let's go in with that. I'm gonna apply that onto the lid and I'm just gonna sweep a little bit. I'm, not, I'm gonna not try not to apply too much. What I'm gonna do is go in with a big fluffy brush to sheer that out. I'm using the A503 BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy, and I'm just gonna use this to sheer this out. This is pretty pigmented, so. And the look that I want is kind of more of a sheer bronze liquid shadow. You could, it looks like you get something really foiled and opaque also, but I'm not going for that today. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I got a, a lot more there than I do have here. So let's go and kind of even them out of it. Okay, it tends to dry a little quickly. I can feel it drying a little quickly. So knowing that, what I would suggest is doing one eye first and then the next. I need to go in and add more to this side. I'm just gonna do a little bit. It dries very fast, guys. Mm, it's really beautiful. The color is gorgeous. It almost reminds me of the color of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury color chameleon pencil, Amber Haze. It reminds me of that, but in the liquid shadow formula. Once it dries, it's not really budging or moving, so you've got to work quickly to blend it out, and you got to be careful not to apply too much. I almost feel like I applied a little too much on this side, but it's difficult to fix when you apply too much. So start off sheer and go from there. It's really, really beautiful, though. So after it's had time to sit, I think it's beautiful. Pros are that the color's beautiful, the formula is really nice and even and has a really nice level of shimmer without looking too glittery. When you apply a lot more, you're gonna get more of that glittered look though. Now I have it on the lid. I don't really wanna put shadow on top of it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Milani palette, but I'm just gonna work it in the outer corner and in the crease. I'm really gonna kind of avoid adding extra shimmer on top of this right here because I feel like it's gonna to be too heavy, it's gonna look dry, and it's gonna look a little too just frosty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this deep shade. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on the tip of my brush, not much, and we're just gonna place that right here in the outer corner real softly work it into the crease to give some definition. Then I'm gonna take this lightest shade, I'm gonna take the same brush, and we're just gonna sweep that underneath the brow to highlight it a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shimmer shade, and I'm taking the BK Beauty 202, I'm taking the tip of that brush to pick up a little bit of that shimmer, and I'm just gonna pop that right here in the inner corner of the eye, just to lighten and brighten that up. So pretty. 
Next, I'm going to take this bronzy shimmery shade and we are going to use the 210 brush by BK Beauty. It's the tiny little smudger brush and we're going to create a lower lash line with this. Kind of smoke that out to give a soft lined lower lash line. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's really beautiful. These are nice. Th these formulas are really nice. I want to add a little bit more definition. So now that I have that shimmer there, I'm going to take this dark matte and we're going to run that just on the outer corner right about to the middle of my pupil, the iris of my eye, just right about to the middle of that, just to deepen that a little, okay? To line the eyes, I'm gonna go in with this pencil from NYX. This is the shade Bronze. This is a really, really nice formula. Highly recommend this from the drugstore. I picked this up. I think I saw this on Amazon as like one of their high, most highly rated beauty products, and it is for a reason. It's very soft and creamy, very pigmented. I love that it's retractable. So good, so, so good. And it's a deep enough bronze. So even though I'm wearing a shade on my eyelid that's bronze and a little darker, you still get the intensity from this liner and you can still see it. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so I got a little messy with that. I'm gonna take the 210 brush and we're just gonna kind of run over it, smudge this into the eye. Oh, that looks so good. I love a look of having like intensity at the lash line, but smudging it in to kind of blend into the eyeshadow look. It just creates this really sultry liner. So it's not super uh, like harsh and defined. It just like adds some intensity there. It looks so good. Okay, so for mascara, I'm using this mascara from Essence. It's called Lash Like a Boss. Let's give this a try. I'm not gonna apply any lash primer. I do like the curvature of this wand. I really love when mascara wands have a slight curve like that. It really helps lift and curl the lashes. I curled my lashes this morning, so my curler is downstairs. Oh, I like this. Okay, this is giving a lot of volume right off the bat. I'm definitely getting length, but what I'm noticing most is volume. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Bobbi Brown's Smoky Lash Mascara, which I love that mascara because it gives like wispy volume. It almost looks like the lashes are wispy and like natural and soft. You know, sometimes I feel like mascaras can give a lot of drama, give a lot of length and volume, but they can also make your lashes look hard or a little clumpy. This has a soft volume to it. It's still like intense and dramatic, but it's just very soft. Like if you were to touch the lashes, they would feel like lashes. This is pretty, you guys. I could use a little bit of extra length, but I think if I paired this with my lash primer, I would get the perfect lash. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of loving this mascara. This is really nice, you guys. <gasps> yes, look at that lash. That's pretty. Let's go and add a little more to this side because this side I don't feel like is long enough. Oh, I love this lash. Okay, this is this is a winner. This is definitely a winner. I love this lash. I love it. So pretty. Okay, one thing I didn't do yet is set with a little powder. So I'm gonna go in and set just the center of the face and also underneath the eyes. I can already see a little creasing with the concealer, which, you know, it doesn't really say much about the concealer. It kind of, this kind of does this to me with every concealer. Okay, I'm just gonna swipe a little bit underneath the eye to kind of set that, perfect. And then I'm gonna take and set the center of the face a bit. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna use this Flush Balm. This is from Revolution, Makeup Revolution, and I got the shade Dolly Rose. And I believe this is a product that you can use on your lips and cheeks, if I recall. We are just gonna use this on our cheeks though, because I got a couple of other fun lip products. Okay, it's a color. I'm gonna blend it out. The BK Beauty 112. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, that blended out really nicely and it's leaving a really pretty soft, like dewiness to the cheeks, but not too shiny. That's really pretty. Now that I have bronzer and blush and eye makeup on, I'm feeling like the, the color looks a little better. <laughs> I don't look so pale. I did apply a little too much. So I'm gonna take the brush that I use for powder and I'm just gonna kind of bounce it around the edges where I want to soften or erase that extra product. You know, when you test a new product, you're not really sure how it's gonna blend out or how pigmented it is. This one has, this has a moderate level of pigment. It's not so much pigment that you can't blend it out, but I don't think I needed three dots. I think I would have gotten what I wanted from two. Okay, I picked up two of these. These are the Revlon Colorstay Suede Ink. I thought I already owned this product, but I think I was getting confused. I think what I 
have is the, okay, so I have the Color Stay Satin Ink. I thought I was ordering this product, but this is a different product. So suede versus satin. So my assumption is that the finish is gonna be a little different. And I grabbed two shades. I grabbed That Girl and I grabbed No Rules. Let me swatch these for you guys. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I'm like trying to twist the top off like I do with the satin, but this is actually more like a lipstick product. So very different, very, very different. I'm gonna blot my lips because I had a little bit of the City Beauty um, lip plumper on. All right, and let's see what two colors I have. Okay, so this is That Girl. Let me swatch this for you. Ooh, that's beautiful. And then I have the shade No Rules. Okay, so this is That Girl, real pink, really pretty, cool tone, kind of medium level of pink. And then this is more peachy. Both are really beautiful. Both have a lot of pigment to them. I'm gonna go in with, we're gonna use the more peachy one today. So we're using the shade No Rules. So it actually looks a little bit more brick on me than I thought, kind of pressed together. Very comfortable, super pigmented, really one swipe and I have like full opaqueness on the lips. It feels like it's drying down a little bit, but it doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick or anything. It's very like a comfortable matte. I can feel it starting to get a little tacky. Okay, so it's had a few seconds to set. There's a slight bit of like a sticky or tackiness to it when you press the lips together. Like it doesn't completely dry down, but you can tell it's definitely drying down like a long wear lip product does. So this is described as having an eight hour wear, no transfer formula that delivers vivid matte color and a naked lip feel. I definitely feel like there's something on my lips. It's not uncomfortable, it's not unpleasant at all, but it does feel like there's something on my lips. It's very lightweight though, full pigment like fully opaque, very, very high pigment. Let's go ahead and put the little, let's do the transfer test. All right, let's give this a go. Okay, so that's what I got. I got the tiniest bit. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but really not much at all. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's pretty transfer resistant, you guys. Pretty transfer resistant. That's pretty, I like that. I wanna add a little gloss. Now that we know what the finish looks like, we know that it's transfer resistant, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a little bit of a gloss on top. I'm just gonna add Jane Iredell. This is not drugstore, but this is the perfect color that I want. I just wanted to lighten it a little bit. Okay, that's pretty, perfect. So let's recap, let's go through the products we tested and tried today. Let me share with you kind of the standout ones that I really enjoyed. So I do think that this foundation is a really beautiful foundation. It feels great, it makes the skin look very luminous and healthy. It's very lightweight, the coverage is pretty natural, but you can build it to get a medium coverage. I will definitely purchase this in my correct shade because I would like to use it again, but I will not use it in this shade. It has a hyaluronic acid and it definitely feels like a very hydrating foundation. So if you have dry skin, and you're looking for a new drugstore foundation, definitely give this one a try, it's really beautiful. The concealer was definitely a standout for me. I was really impressed from the moment I applied it onto my skin after it blended out, and now it's been on for about 30, 45 minutes, and there's really no creasing. It looks really natural, but it gives great coverage. Again, I need to get my shade because this is way too light for me, but if you have tried this concealer, share your thoughts down below so we can kind of share information and see how others feel about it. But this one really did impress me. This might be a new favorite favorite drugstore concealer. Okay, moving right along. So the liquid eyeshadows, I kind of feel like there's pros and cons to this. I love the color of this. When I swatched it on the hand, I thought it was absolutely beautiful, very consistent. When I applied it on the eye, it dried pretty quickly. So it didn't give you a whole lot of time to blend it out and work with it. And I do think now that it's been on the eye, once you, if you apply too much of it, it can look a little like dry and a little cracky. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know when you use a liquid shadow that has a lot of shimmer and it dries and it just looks dry? I could see how this would be it. So I'm not saying I don't like this, but I think the key is using a very sheer layer of it to just have a very flattering finish. The color is absolutely beautiful though. So that's that's my thoughts on that. I don't know how helpful that was. Okay, the Milani shadow palette is really nice for a, you know, for just a neutral palette. Even though I didn't get to play with these a lot on the eyes and I just kind of use them as accenting shades, I was impressed with the way that these blended out and the way that they paid off. The mascara, definitely a hit for me. So, so far, if I had to pick like the top products from this little haul try on, it would be the concealer and this mascara. They really both impress me a ton. This mascara is stunning. I will continue to use this. I would repurchase this. This one is good. Okay, so let's talk about the blush. I think this is a really nice product. Um, I wish it came in more shades. If I recall when I looked, there were maybe four 
four shades or so, maybe five shades. Um, this looked like the best option for me. And even though I like it, I wish it was a little rosier. I wish they had a rosier tone that was in this shade. And I may be wrong. You guys may go on the website and see they have a very extensive shade range. When I looked, there weren't, and all the others looked to be either too bright or too dark for me. But I think it's a nice formula. So there you go on that. The lipstick. The lipstick's nice. I wasn't like blown away with it. Super pigmented, doesn't transfer. Yeah, it's a good lipstick. Didn't totally knock my socks off though, but yeah, so that's how I feel about that. And then the bronzer. This is a really nice product. The color was a little off for me, a little too orange, but the formula is really nice when you use it with a larger brush. You know, it can give you a real natural glowy look to the skin. If I can use a cream bronzer on bare naked skin, like without foundation, then that is a testament to how nice and sheer it is. And this is one that I think you could use that way. I definitely want to get on and see if there is a another shade that won't be so orange because look at that that's pretty orange right yeah so it could just it doesn't have to be a really cool tone but something a little cooler than this and i would totally reuse it so that's my summary. I'll have all the products that I use listed in the description box below for you guys. If you've tried any of these products, comment down below. Let us know what you've tried, what you love, what you didn't love, because I love to get other people's input. Even if you disagree with me and you hated something that I loved, let us know. Let us know down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.